Welcome back guys and today we'll be talking about Bitcoin Cash and the news that there is a hard fork. There is a hard fork coming up next week on Bitcoin Cash. So we're going to discuss why this happens. I mean what is the reason for the division? What is the reason for these two camps fighting between each other yet again? We're also going to discuss the different leaders that are pushing for their ideology, that are pushing for their changes, that are pushing for their vision for Bitcoin Cash. And you realize that news about the hard fork is actually quite significant when it comes to the markets because if you look at the bitcoin cash price recently it has been going up so you see a clear uptrend why is it so well because people want more money people are greedy they want more money so they think if i buy bitcoin cash right now and bitcoin cash will have a hard fork next week maybe i will get free coins maybe i will get an equal amount of this new coin that will be created into existence so this is the reason for the pump however something important to realize is that we might not see two different coins this is still unclear and there are different uh, signals different communication happening at the moment but we may or, or may not see two different coins and so first of all we need to understand why we have a split what is the ideological difference and to understand that you need to know the recent news. And this is something we've covered on the channel. So one news that is quite significant is the fact that uh, you have Spedon, a new programming language on Bitcoin Cash. So Bitcoin Cash wanted to make it easier for people to program smart contracts on top of Bitcoin Cash. And so they introduced Spedon. Something very important to say is that when we're talking about smart contracts on Bitcoin Cash or smart contracts on Bitcoin, we need to realize that those smart contracts are not the same as on Ethereum. I mean, Spedon is very limited, it is not Turing complete, and it is very, very tailored for Bitcoin Cash. And basically, it allows you to create very simple logic on top of Bitcoin Cash. And the, the reason Spedon was created was to make it simpler for developers to program. Because before Spedon, you had to use script. And script is a very difficult to use low-level programming language that is present on Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash. And so Spedon basically adds a bit of abstraction to that and makes it easier for people to program. So Spedon actually looks like a normal programming language, while script looked more like uh, assembly uh, or some other low-level language. And, you know, more um, technically, uh, this is just a layer on top of script. So when you actually develop on Spedon, your program gets converted to script. So this is just a nice layer on top of script that makes it easier for people to develop. But anyway, it is a very important piece of news that we need to keep in mind because when this happened, Bitcoin Cash wanted to push for even more changes and they are pushing for even more changes. They want to make it even simpler and even more easier for developers to develop on Bitcoin Cash. And so they are enabling a few opcodes. For example, they are uh, activating uh, op check data seek and op check data seek verify and this is quite important because this is where the split really happens this is where you have two different camps within bitcoin cash on one hand you have people such as roger ver roger ver thinks that we should have smart contracts on bitcoin cash roger ver thinks that we should have icos that we should be able to program bitcoin cash more and so he's one of the people that really wants to make bitcoin cash more flexible while on the other hand, you see people such as Craig Wright. They are very conservative. They don't even want to have these changes. They want to keep Bitcoin as it was before and not change a lot of things. And so this is where this story becomes ironical and a bit humoristic. Because if you think about the fact how Bitcoin Cash was created, uh, it was because people said, you know what? Bitcoin team currently is doing a lot of changes. They are introducing SegWit. They are introducing Lightning Network. And so we in Bitcoin Cash, we want to keep it minimal. We want to keep it as it was in the white paper. This was the pitch for Bitcoin Cash. This is how they presented themselves. But now you see another partition that is within Bitcoin Cash telling people, you know what? We're actually even more pure. I mean, our vision of the Bitcoin network and our implementation is the true Satoshi's vision. So now you kind of have Satoshi's vision within Satoshi's vision. 
And so this is quite uh, hysterical because you realize that this fighting will continue forever. I mean, someone will always say that, you know what, I actually have a better version of Bitcoin because my version is more like Satoshi's vision. But anyway, so the people that are pushing for the new, uh, the new client are Craig Wright and the Calvin Iyer. So Craig Wright is famous in the space because he claimed that he is Satoshi. He was proven wrong and he was not able to prove it for, for sure. I mean, proving that you are Satoshi is, you know, really quite easy. It might be because he doesn't want to prove. It might be because he really cannot prove. I mean, who knows? He is not Satoshi as far as we know and as far as he can prove. But so he and Calvin uh, Iyer, who is a billionaire and also in charge of CoinGeek, basically a mining farm, they do not want to introduce these opcodes to Bitcoin Cash. They do not want to introduce these changes to Bitcoin Cash. They want to keep Bitcoin Cash as it currently is. And so you have two different camps. One camp within Bitcoin Cash that wants to add more programmability, more flexibility to the network, and the other camp that really wants to keep it as it is right now and not change anything. And uh, the first camp is called Bitcoin ABC because Bitcoin ABC is the biggest Bitcoin Cash client right now. You have other clients such as Bitcoin Unlimited, but Bitcoin ABC is the main client, so to speak, just like Bitcoin Core is the main client in the Bitcoin protocol, in the Bitcoin ecosystem that implements the Bitcoin protocol. So uh, this is the really the, the foundation for the split. Now, within and chain which is the company that craig wright works at i don't know if he founded it but uh, he's a quite significant person at n chain you also have his ceo namely jimmy n guyen sorry if i butchered that name i do not know how to pronounce it and so this is where we start talking about whether it will be one or two coins because People who buy Bitcoin Cash right now and people who pump the Bitcoin Cash price right now, they think that they there will be two coins. Uh, but this is still unclear because if you read Jimmy's tw tweet, he is the CEO of Enchain. So he and Craig Wright are working together and they are pushing for the Bitcoin Satoshi's vision fork of Bitcoin Cash. He says the following. Bitcoin SV does not intend to fork off from Bitcoin Cash nor create a new coin or token. Very interesting. Instead, Bitcoin SV node provides a clear Bitcoin Cash implementation choice for miners who support Bitcoin's original vision. It will compete for miner votes under Nakamoto consensus to be winning Bitcoin Cash chain. So what does it mean? What does it mean? First of all, we need to understand what is Nakamoto consensus. Basically, the longest chain wins. When they release their client, when Bitcoin SV release their client to the miners, some miners will upgrade to Bitcoin SV and thus support Bitcoin SV, while some miners will continue mining Bitcoin ABC and they will continue mining Bitcoin Unlimited, for example. So basically you will see people picking size, miners picking size. Do I want to mine Bitcoin SV or do I want to mine Bitcoin ABC? Uh, and this is what Nakamoto consensus is because the chain that gets the most hash power, that gets the most miners will become longer faster because you have more hash power working on it. So it will become longer faster and it will have uh, an increase the difficulty as well. So this is quite important. The difficulty will increase because it has more hash power uh, compared to the chain that uh, has less hash power. There the difficulty will be lower compared to the chain that has more hash power. And this is really what decides what is the true chain. The, the chain that has accumulated the most proof of work, basically the highest difficulty, uh, will be the legit chain. And so when I read this tweet, my interpretation of this is that Bitcoin SV will release their client, miners will be able to choose, do I want to mine Bitcoin SV or Bitcoin ABC? And if it is the case that Bitcoin ABC gets more miners, according to Nakamoto consensus, Bitcoin SV will just be scrapped and not be used. And so basically, according to my interpretation of this tweet, uh, Jimmy is saying that if Bitcoin SV does not get more hash power than Bitcoin ABC, they will give up because 
their chain is not the valid chain according to Nakamoto consensus. But, you know, people want some clarification. Uh, for example, so can you confirm that there will not be two different coins fighting for the BCH ticker even if miners don't vote for Satoshi Vision? And Craig Wright just replies, you will learn how Bitcoin works very soon. I mean, wh why be so cryptic? Tell me yes or no, because this is very cryptic. I mean, normally when this happens, you have two coins. I mean, even if one coin gets fewer, uh, less hash rate, they can still support themselves. This is how you... Uh, how it happened with Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash. I mean, it's not that there is some standard way that this works. It's all about, I mean, how do people make decisions? People that fork, they need to make a decision whether they want to continue or not. And whether they want to push for their coin, although they have very little mining support, or if they do not want to push for their coin. So I think it is quite cryptic and in my view it can go either way. I mean technically it could be two coins, no question about that. Technically you could have another Bitcoin. But um, reading this tweet it might be the fact that they will just say, you know guys, we give up. Okay, that being said, which are the exchanges, uh, more correctly, what is the position of the exchanges? Coinbase is saying that they will uh, take a look and currently they are supporting the original roadmap of Bitcoin Cash and uh, they will make sure that customers get both coins, that you get both Bitcoin Cash and the new coin if there are two coins, which is still unknown according to this tweet, I mean who knows, but Coinbase will give you both coins if they have both coins and you have uh, as well Bitcoin.com, of course, uh, Roger Ver and company, they are a quite significant player within Bitcoin Cash and they will be mining Bitcoin ABC and Bitcoin Unlimited and they will be using Bitcoin ABC and Bitcoin Unlimited. So you have Bit uh, Roger Ver, you have uh, Jihan Vu on one side and then you have Craig Wright on the other side and they are now fighting with each other. Uh, what else? Something else that is important to mention is the fact that you will see a lot of scammers trying to scam you for your Bitcoin Cash. Because whenever you have a fork, there is a lot of scammers trying to publish a website, basically saying, you know what, give us your private key and we will give you the other coin that just forked. Because when you have two coins in existence, because you see a fork, you normally have to claim the other coin. And so scammers might set up a website where they ask you for your private key, you give them your private key, but instead of getting your other coin, your Bitcoin SV or whatever, you will just lose everything. So be very careful, guys. Be very careful when you claim your other coin, if there will be another coin. But anyway, guys, hope you learned something. Hope you enjoyed this. Smash the like and I'll see you all very, very soon. Have a great day and goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye, guys.